It's Monday, June 17th, 2024, and it's about noon right now. Came here by myself today to do just a couple things because our metal posts are not ready yet. But when we were here on Thursday, trying to finish packing out these beams, we ran out of bolts. And I went to two different Home Depots and bought everything they had wasn't enough so I came back by myself I had about 45 more bolts to put in today so did that now these things are ready to go and hopefully our metal posts will be ready soon now these bolts are pretty big they're half inch carriage bolts and two and a half inches long, just enough to go through the half inch of metal, inch and a half of wood, and have enough sticking out for the nut and washer on the end. So I think we're gonna probably try to cut these off with a sawzall or maybe a skill saw, get them flush to the metal, but it doesn't really need to be. The wood packing, is the inside of this beam so they're tilted 90 degrees from where they're gonna lay on top of the building but <clears throat> the um, the rafter is gonna come down bare on top of this 2 by 8 so we'll probably just cut our bird's foot so that it lands right there in line with the metal. But, so we could just leave that there. We're building out the material more anyway. But, uh, yeah, I didn't realize this. My metal guy had marked these where he's gonna be cutting them with a, he's bringing a portable band site here, band saw here to the site when he uh, is ready to install these. So he's got a mark here. This gets cut a few feet. This gets cut there. That one gets cut there. We just put all the wood on it because we didn't know that mark was there and it doesn't really matter. We'll just, you know, we don't need them at the end. But there's not much else to update you on. I did my cleanup job again and did a nice job with the backpack blower today. The other day I came and moved some of the material out of the front of the building. I got those cinder blocks out and the other stack of rafters out. So really this, we're completely done until the metal posts are ready. So it's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. So I did not come here on Friday and on Thursday I forgot to film my video. So I think I only did two clips for last week's weekly video and I haven't even posted it yet. So did some time lapse and some drone footage. So I'm gonna include that. But uh, I don't know when the metal's gonna be ready. So don't know when I'll be back to put it in. But until then, I will be keeping myself busy elsewhere. I've got plenty to do. So that's it for now. Have a good one, and I'll be back. So it's Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. This is week seven on the job, and we weren't really, I was here for a little bit on Monday, but I don't even know what I was doing Monday. It wasn't much. I think I filmed the video. But uh, the metal came today, finally. We got our posts up on top of our columns. And we have the first one, two, three, four, kind of ready to go but this one we had a big problem with and uh so what happened 
you can see some of these other ones that we haven't quite leveled yet the um, the threaded rods if they're not parallel enough for that base plate to slide down then we have to force the the post down which pushes the threaded rods either in or out whichever way they're out of alignment and so on this one here this is the third post from the side and this is the one that I originally drilled the holes wrong by a lot and I wasn't sure if it was even gonna work with my jig um, but it, it was out of alignment enough that the base plate didn't slide smoothly down and what I tried to do was just put those top nuts down and keep tightening them to pull the base plate down but it was just too much stress on those bricks up top and they busted out so we have a good plan for that and what we're gonna do is lay our beam across the top the beam goes to the middle of this post here so I'm gonna bring us over to the the beams show you what we did to get those ready we're gonna take this post, the metal post up top. It's gonna come off temporarily. We're gonna get rid of all those broken bricks. And we're gonna span from that end on top of that one, skip this one, and end on that one. This one is the concrete that's nice and solid. And we're gonna weld the beam up top. And then we're gonna take this post we're going to shim it up somehow, hold it up, clamp it, whatever we need to do to get it flush on the bottom of the beam, and then weld it. And then we're going to build the bricks up and drop. We're going to keep those anchors on the going out the base plate at the bottom. And then we're going to pour mortar inside and let that harden up. And then, you know, we might have to put a shim here or a jack stud and like because that this beam might flex a little over that 24 foot opening so we'll make sure it's nice and straight we'll just push push it up around this area and then do that and that's going to be okay so you know and then once everything's loaded in compression uh we don't have to worry about the cracks on the bottom or anything like that so I'm okay with this one being broken. What I'm more worried about is this second post over here. Well, I guess it's the third one. Um, but this post here, this is going to take the weight of the truss and the LVL ridge beam that goes on this side. So the ridge beam goes to the middle of this post. And then we build up our truss and it lands on top of this post here. So I'm really gonna be a lot more concerned about this one more than any of the other posts. I wish this was a block and brick post like the new ones that they replaced but it's not it's an old brick one solid brick we've been having issues with those so we'll see how that goes um, we're gonna find out tomorrow I guess how it looks once that plate pulls down and the bottom of the metal is where it needs to be we'll see if the the threaded rods are out of alignment enough that it's gonna push out on those bricks and just break them apart. Um, if that does happen, we'll probably do the exact same thing as we end up doing on that one that broke. But I was hoping to start building these trusses this week while the guys start framing the rafters on that side of the building. I wanna start building this truss 
and then we can get the beam up and by the time they get over here hopefully they can just keep going with rafters so that might be a little aggressive but that's kind of how I'm picturing it so this is how we prep these beams to get put up so this is on top of that fourth post over there uh, the splice so you have once this beam gets tipped up this is the bottom this is the inside and so this side here lands on top of the end of the building so it gets welded to that first post right here this was cut with a torch today and we gave ourselves you know we had to cut these back a little further so that side of this metal beam lands after the third bay and then it gets the splice plate bolted on this is the middle beam we still have to draw out our hole pattern for the uh, splice plate but this one this side starts after the third bay and goes the next three bays there's another hole pattern for the splice plate down there and then this needs oh shoot no this this is the bottom of that one so the splice plate is over there and this side of this beam goes on that end of the building so these two are oriented one way where we just flip it up and put it over this one is going to have to get flipped up and then turned 180 degrees so let me just go over quickly how we get these posts set up because this is a pretty cool part of it now i have that board nailed up there with that little metal strip that goes to my magnetic level there's a magnetic uh, base part of it that sticks to that little metal plate. And then I've got the green laser sensor. I think I was calling it a magnetic level. I don't know, but it's my uh, laser level. So we're using the horizontal laser. And then I've got this tool here. This is a green laser sensor. And once that green laser hits it, right now it's on the bottom and it does fast beeps. When it gets on it, it does a solid beep. And when it's on the top, it's a slow beep. So what we do is we set this, we just plop this right on top of that top plate and we push it up or down with the leveling nuts while we do that. And once we hear that solid beep, we know we're, we're good. And what it's, it was a little, tricky at first getting it level and at the right height but now what, what we kind of settled on was we level it off and then we, we get it close first then we level it with a, just a normal level on top and then we go like a quarter turn per nut just to hone in on that laser level where it needs to be and by turning those nuts the same amount each time we're not throwing off the level so that's how that works pretty easy so now we know that they're all level the first one we did we used our tape and got our 12 foot 2 inches off the floor that's what we need the opening to be for the garage guys um, 
that kind of goes back to this whole diagram I drew up a while back. And then with the bottom packing and the extra plywood, that brings us down to exactly 12 feet. So tomorrow, first thing we do is, well, we got to take that post out and get those bricks out of there. But then we're going to put the beam up, start putting our beams up. So we're going to see how that goes. And hopefully tomorrow we get all three of them up. That's our plan. So now that we got our system down, it really doesn't take that long. Theoretically, it doesn't take long at all to level and adjust the height on these metal posts. But the biggest problem is if we are dealing with misalignment on those threaded rods, it gets really tough. So anyway, that's my update for today. I will be back tomorrow. It's Thursday, June 20th, 2024, and we are in week seven of the job, and today we got two of the beams up. Came in this morning, we had all the posts were set on top of the brick posts yesterday, and we got the first three minus that one which i explained how it broke on the top but all the metal posts for the first beam were ready to go this morning when we got here it was me and one helper we started leveling the next few posts the metal posts with the leveling nuts then my metal guy got here and we started putting the beams up and we got these two beams in obviously right now they're only clamped on and braced temporarily braced to our conduit support structure but that board right there even though it's you know seamed in the middle it does go all the way back to that end of the building so it's uh you know it's gonna do the job the, ne the next couple days that um, these will all get welded in place so now this these four posts in the middle are the good ones and I'm not worried about those at all the anchors went in nice and we were able to level them perfectly it's those ones that I'm worried about and particularly this one here we started leveling that post when our lumber delivery came i got my final order of lumber delivered so i'll go through that in a minute but uh this is the post that's going to hold up our truss that's going to hold up that beam so this brick post i'm really considering demoing it and rebuilding it nice and strong with rebar brand new block because we can't take any chances with that one so the beam is not too hard to get on it's uh basically we lower it down to right above where it needs to go and then you could still kind of move it around it's very heavy it's about 1100 pounds with all that wood packing on it but we are still able to move it because it kind of is just like a pendulum swinging on that strap up there and so he drops it down to maybe like i don't know less than an inch above where it needs to go and i'm able to get it where it needs to go on top of that metal post and then we put a clamp on it and slowly drop the other end down center it on that one and that's it i mean it's not it's not too hard they are very heavy though it's kind of a little nerve-wracking so 
final order of lumber came today. It's about $15,000 worth of lumber. I got all the rafter ties over there. Those are the very long 2x10s. I honestly don't want to even walk out there in the sun. It's like 100 degrees today. We're in the middle of a heat wave. So I'm standing over here in the shade of one of these posts. We got our, that's the big LVL beam that's gonna go up top. That's the ridge beam. We got the rest of those LVLs on top of the stack of rafters that have been here. Those are the LVLs for the truss we're gonna be building up here. That's gonna take that beam load to the front and back. Got all our plywood for the roof. There's two stacks of plywood there, about 80 sheets. We need 5 8 inch CDX. Yeah, that's uh, about $15,000 worth of lumber that got delivered today. It's crazy. But, what else? We kind of cut out early today because it's so damn hot. We're, uh, we're gonna come finish in the morning when it's manageable. So, yeah, these beams, I'm super excited for this part. Now, I think I mentioned this in my video yesterday, but what we're gonna do here to fix this post cap, we're gonna clamp that metal post to the bottom of the beam, right where it needs to go. We're gonna leave those threaded rods sticking down even further than what you see like they're going to be bolted so that most of the rod is hanging down then we're going to build up the outside of these bricks the threaded rods are going to be in the middle and then we're just going to pour mortar into that little form or pool whatever you want to call it that cavity and once it hardens up it'll be good so this this is what i'm worried about for those two we started banging down that metal post to get it down where it needs to be and that's when we had to stop to help get the lumber order out but we're already rubbing against the side of those holes and we're hit we're trying to tap it down with a hammer but those bricks are in rough shape up there. Every time we hit that down and we're pushing those bolts to the side, it's putting that load on those bricks too. And that's what happened over there and it busted it out. So not sure how it's gonna work. These two are, I suspect these are gonna be the same. So we'll see, we'll get it done. This beam looks good though. It's nice and level nice and straight so yeah once this beam is in then we go to town framing rafters and that's it start building our truss hanging that ilvl ridge beam and really start buttoning this job up so i mean if you think about it this this part we're halfway done with now was the whole point of this job getting this opening bigger and we're uh, well on our way with that so it's very exciting but it's been a long day i'm pretty exhausted this heat is brutal we got another few days of this heat wave but i'll be back tomorrow we're gonna be uh starting nice and early to get as much done as we can before it gets hot so i'll see you later So it's Friday, June 21st, 2024, the end of week seven on this job. And today was probably the most pivotal day of all, well, the last couple days, but the beam is in. So that's great news. We, uh, it's just clamped right now every post has a, at least one clamp on it and it's braced to the old 
ceiling joists that go all the way to the back of the building. So the welder, my metal guy said he's gonna try to get here this weekend, start welding and putting the splice plates in. So we've got two splice plates to add in because there's three beams. So there's two seams in the middle. You can see those are already drilled out. We did that on the ground. But these last, today when we came in, we had to start with leveling the posts and getting them to height on this one, that one, and that one. So the last three, because those those over there were all done up to this point where that second beam landed yesterday. So we came in, got these three leveled, took about an hour and a half, we were done with that. And then the metal guy got here about 10.30, popped that last beam up, and we are looking good. So the next step for us is to start framing rafters and we we really should wait until this thing's all welded together first but he said he's doing that this weekend so if that happens we're probably going to show up here monday with the whole crew maybe five or six guys banging out rafters and start laying out this truss so that i can get the beam in on that side and i'm hoping i can finish that truss and beam while they're installing these rafters and they can just keep going beyond. Now, as we put the rafter up, we're also gonna add the rafter tie on the bottom, which is our two by tens. They sent us 28 footers because they didn't have 24 footers. But, I, or no, you know what? I, I told them 26 footers. Based on the plan, it was gonna be about 25 feet or so. And that's, this here, this is a rafter tie. And what that does, the reason we need to get this in as we put rafters up is because that holds them together on the bottom so you don't have an outward force pushing the top of that post. And until this rafter tie is in, you get this board has a, a lot of torque to it. And so it wants to kick out the posts that way. Kind of ties into the whole discussion I've had about ridge beams versus ridge boards and rafter ties and all that. So anyway, today was a big day and uh, we're finishing pretty early. It's about quarter to two right now for the last 45 minutes or so we've been cleaning. So what else? There was something else I was going to talk about. Yeah, I want to look at the schedule. So we thought we were ahead of schedule and by turning it into a single phase versus two phases, I kind of chopped off about three weeks of this job. Haven't really, uh, I haven't really checked on this in a while. So this is done. This is done. This is done, this is done, that's done. So I have, when I modified our schedule, where we're at right now puts us two weeks behind. We're, we're two weeks behind where I modified my schedule and that was because we had so much trouble with the uh, drill on the top of those posts and all that debacle. So, we're still well ahead of our original schedule based on two phases, but you know, happens. We're still in good shape here. And the rest of this is not nearly as technical. So uh, I never really filmed a conclusion video to my, my uh, anchor setting discussion that I was doing. I had I have like 10 or so clips on that whole process. So, um, you know, this is the end result of all of that. And maybe I'll do another video just discussing it. Those leveling nuts worked out 
perfectly though. Our system was great. We brought that post down below where it needed to be and used the leveling nuts, made sure it was level. And then we slowly brought it up to where it needed to be by doing a quarter turn on each nut sequentially until it was right where it needed to be. So anyway, this is exciting for me, but I am looking to go looking forward to going home right now. I'm gonna do a quick drone video and then I'm out of here. So that's our little lumber yard back there. Ton of lumber. <clears throat> but that's it. I will be back next week.